Cat's Gallery, how do you light your studio? <laughs> That's a great question. I have awesome windows. That's the best way. I happen to prefer natural light. Some people like, um, they like, uh, you know, man-made, you know, fluorescent or LED or whatever because they can control it. And especially if they're in the studio at different times, I just tend to like natural light. I like to work during the day. I don't like working under natural, um, you know, fluorescent or whatever. But, um, and so the lighting I have here is what it came with, although I did add, there's up there, there's some, I don't know if they're visible, no, they're not visible. But anyway, I have these, this track lighting that it came with and I went to the lighting store and then I put more up there. Well, I had someone who was tall put them up there because I can't even reach them on a ladder myself. But anyway, um, these were the bulbs that came with the place. And when I've set up my own lights, I go and buy like daylight bulbs and um, you can, uh, what I would recommend is bringing one of your own paintings and looking at, if they have, I mean, not that many lighting stores let you do that, but years ago there was this cool lighting store in Oakland and they had these little boxes and they had the different bulbs and you could check out what the different light was, which was amazing. And often you have to buy it to know what the light is. Um, but yeah, that I would definitely look for like a daylight correction or daylight balance bulbs. They're, and just ask for that because it's um, it's kind of like a truer. So I have a mixture of these fluorescent fixtures and um, and some of these LED track lights or whatever. It's I need more LEDs to the track lights to shine on the paintings. I don't have great illumination. Like if people are here not during the daytime. And even sometimes during the daytime, it's a little dark to really properly see my paintings. So um, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have other questions. Um, yeah, and those fixtures, you know, you can buy those and just hang them up with a chain. It's not that even that big a deal. And you don't, I, I mean, again, if you're, and if you're renting a space or doing it in um, working out of um, your own home or apartment, you know, where you don't own it, you don't have to have an electrician in. I did this in the basement of my apartment building when I first, very, very first studio out of undergraduate. Um, I just bought one of these fluorescent fixtures and it had a plug and I just plugged it in and that was it. So you can control the lighting even, even if you're on a budget or you don't own the place, you don't have to have it hardwired in.